my name is Ashley Rice and welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay you guys, today I have another Purple Carrot unboxing and this time it's a little different than what I've been previously doing because today it is an all Thanksgiving meal. This is a special that they made just for Thanksgiving. And for those of you who don't know what Purple Carrot is, it's basically a meal subscription box but it's all vegan so you don't have to worry about anything not working within a vegan lifestyle which I absolutely love. But I noticed that they had a specific Thanksgiving meal that you could sign up for that was roughly around $65 so it was a lot cheaper than some of the other like weekly meals you can put together with that said you are getting less in the box so that's probably why it is cheaper but I wanted to share this with you guys so you can kind of see what they offer for Thanksgiving so that way if next year rolls around and you're like oh my gosh I don't want to have to plan a Thanksgiving meal I'd rather just order something call it good and make that then this might be the option for you to check out but also for those of you who are doing last minute meal prep and you are looking for some vegan friendly meals, whether you just found out someone is vegan that is coming over and you need to make them something, or if you are someone who you are wanting to try something vegan this year for Thanksgiving, this will kinda, I think, give you some basic ideas as to options you can make. I'm also gonna leave all the recipes down below in the description box because they do have links to the recipes that I can give you guys. So feel free to check those down below in the description box if there is something in this box that seems really intriguing and you'd like to try and make it for this year's Thanksgiving or next year's because all of these should be fairly easy to make it doesn't take an extremely long time to make all of them it's not like you're having to prep the turkey or anything so hopefully if you're looking for some last minute recipe ideas this gives you something that you can try out but let's go ahead and see what they sent this box is huge and it weighs a ton Ugh. So let's see what I got for Thanksgiving this year. Okay, so right on top we have these guys right here, which is a bit different than what Purple Carrot normally does. Normally you get this like booklet that has all the recipes in there, but it looks like we got individual cards this time. So it says Thanksgiving meal preparation. So it gives you two different options. You can do some optional prep on Wednesday or you can just cook it all on Thanksgiving day. So this is like perfect for those of you who need last minute ideas like use these recipes down below. But it shows you what you need in your own kitchen that they did not supply, and then basically goes through the directions for you. So this is all the different things that we got, and I just wanna share them with you so you can kinda of see everything. So the first thing here, this is basically a turkey alternative that is not supposed to be at all like a turkey. So for those of you who don't have like the alternatives like Tofurky or various brands like that that are near you, or you just don't like them and you want nothing that is like turkey at all this right here this first guy is going to be a great alternative so we are going to be trying the Hasselback butternut squash so this is not at all supposed to be like a turkey it's not going to taste like a turkey it's just basically replacing turkey with something healthier and let's see your nutrition information you're getting 210 calories per serving 11 grams of fat carbs are 30 grams protein is 3 grams it does have tree nuts for anyone who is allergic. However, I'm sure you could just not use those. And it should take about 45 minutes to make, which is so much easier than prepping a turkey. Like I hear all the horror stories of people who like have to get a turkey last minute and it's just horrible. So if you're one of those people, I would definitely recommend just trying something like this or going to the store and finding something like tofurkey because the amount of prep that goes into that is way easier than an actual turkey. So like it's just gonna make your life so much easier and it's gonna help a turkey's life and it's just gonna be healthy for you. So it's gonna be amazing. So that's one of the things we got. Another thing we got, this is a stuffing alternative and this is gonna be a rustic kayabata stuffing. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. It takes about an hour to make. Calories are 300 per serving. Fat is eight grams. Carbs are 40 grams. Protein is 18 grams. That's more than I thought there was gonna be. And so yeah, so you're still able to get your amazing stuffing on Thanksgiving day, it's just vegan, which is amazing, animal friendly. And then on the other side here, we have some roasted Brussels sprouts. My husband will be really excited for this because he likes a good roasted Brussels sprout. And cook time for this is 30 minutes, calories are 110 per serving, fat is five grams, carbs are 15 grams, and protein is six grams. Ooh, this looks really good. And then for dessert, we have this cranberry citrus cake, which looks delicious. 
and it looks like it actually has coconut whipped cream and crystallized ginger. Mmm, that's gonna be interesting. Cook time is one hour. Nutrition is 360 calories per serving. Fat is 14 grams. Carbs are 54 grams. Protein is five grams. I'm assuming it's per serving, but I could be wrong. Oh, I didn't even tell you how many servings you get. So with this cake, it's eight servings. And then for our turkey alternative, you are getting four servings. So you're actually getting like a good amount. Like this is gonna be a good amount of food for just the two of us because we're just doing this for the two of us, me and Lowell, and that's it. The stuffing you get four servings, the Brussels sprouts you get four servings, the cake, like I said, you get eight servings. And then on the back it also says we have four servings of a cranberry sauce and four servings of gravy. And for nutrition information for the cranberry sauce, it's 170 calories, zero grams of fat, 43 grams of carbs, zero grams of protein. For the gravy, it's gonna be 70 calories, five grams of fat, six grams of carbs, and one gram of protein. So look at that, look how easy this is. Like this is gonna be so much easier than us having to like run around and try and find all these recipes that we can make. Like they basically made this all for us, which is so, so, so nice. And really, this is not gonna take a huge amount of time to cook all of it at once. And we're planning on eating this Friday night. So I can't give you an update today on how these turned out, unfortunately. However, like I have never been disappointed with purple carrot. There's some things that maybe I was like, oh, flavor note, I'd probably change that if we were gonna make it again. But otherwise, like I've really, really enjoyed our purple carrot meals. I've never been disappointed. And all of these look absolutely amazing. I'm gonna give you a close up now so you can see the pictures just a little bit better so you know exactly what you'd be making. So this is the squash. I'm really interested in trying this because usually we get like a fake turkey. So this will be the first year that we're getting something that's very much not a turkey. Or I should say that isn't supposed to behave like a turkey. So these are the Brussels sprouts. I'm not, I'm sure these will be like most Brussels sprouts that we have made, but I'm very excited to eat those. I love getting stuffing. It's one of my favorite things to eat during Thanksgiving, so I'm really, really excited to try that one. Doesn't this cake look amazing? It looks so good. I'm so excited for this. And we're gonna have eight servings of it. How crazy is that? Okay, but now let's go ahead and look at the food real quick. So right here, this is everything you'll need for the roasted Brussels sprout. One thing I will say that I don't like about purple carrot, and I've said this in other unboxings, is that I don't like how much plastic is in here. Um, and I have contacted them about that and they are right now looking for alternatives, so I'm excited to see where they take it in the next year or so, but I'm excited for the day where there's a lot less plastic. Unfortunately, right now there's a lot of plastic, which is really sad, but they put it all together so you know exactly what you're gonna need for this specific recipe. And then this one here is the cranberry citrus cake, the thing I'm super excited for. And then, oh, pantry kit. I think this is for, it looks like we have the cranberry sauce right there and also probably stuff for the gravy. It does mention here the introduction to the pantry kit, so I'm just gonna read this really quick. In your box, you'll find a pantry kit. This kit includes items that are shared across recipes. Please take care of measuring out the exact amount for each ingredient that the recipe calls for. You will find the following ingredients in the pantry kit. Okay, and then it lists it off. Okay, so this is just a mix of everything. Very cool. I love that they do that because we've had some previous recipes where they like send us a whole lemon for each recipe and you only need a half for each recipe. So it's like we have an extra lemon that we like don't know what to do with. We got some celery for something. And here is our Hasselback uh, squash that we're gonna be cooking up. I'm really, really excited to try this because this is like so new and different and I'm just really excited to have it. Okay, and I think this is the last thing and this is the rustic, uh, however you say that word, stuffing. Um, and it looks like we do have some fake sausage in here. I'm not sure which brand it is. It just says apple sage sausage, vegan apple sage sausage. And that's everything, you guys. So I'm really excited to try all this out. When I saw the different recipes they were going to send us for Thanksgiving, I was really excited to try them out, especially because I'm excited to try out something that is just its own unique thing, like a squash for the main meal rather than something that's supposed to be a 100% replacement for turkey. I think those are amazing and I definitely enjoy them. And if you're looking for one last minute to 
Fergie, go for it. They have an amazing one that you'll just absolutely love. Even my husband who eats turkey, he loved Tofurky's fake turkey. It was so good. But I think this is just great to be able to see that there are other alternatives out there. So even if you can't find the alternatives in your area that are supposed to behave like turkey, there are other meals that you could make to replace the main like dish. And so I'm really excited to be trying out my first one. Like I said, we usually get the fake turkeys for Thanksgiving. So this will be the first year that we're not doing that and I'm really excited to try it out. If you do want an update on what I think about all of these, I'll probably post to Instagram about it. Like I said, we're going to probably be doing this for Friday lunch. I think that's what we're aiming for for right now. It could be that changes. We have it a different day, different meal. But no matter what, I'll probably post to Instagram about it in my Instagram story. So if you want an update, just make sure you pay attention there. But I thought it'd be fun to share this with you guys. So if you are looking for something that's going to make Thanksgiving so much easier next year for four people, and I think you could actually do more. More. Um, we just stuck with the four servings, but I think you could go like six and then higher if you wanted. So if you're looking for something easy to put together a Thanksgiving meal for you that is all vegan, definitely check out Purple Carrot. I'm excited to try out these meals. But also I wanted to share these with you if you're looking for last minute recipes, you can look these up. I mean, like you saw, most of these are not gonna take that long to make. So they're gonna be super easy to make last minute and just throw in with the meal. So don't stress yourself out trying to find something else that's gonna take forever. Like go with these meals, it's gonna take you like I think at most an hour. I don't think anything was above an hour if I'm remembering correctly. And it isn't really that difficult to make Thanksgiving vegan, which I think is something else that's really, really cool to see. Like how simple are all of these and how delicious do all of them look? And obviously if you want something that's gonna behave like a turkey, like it's so easy to find alternatives nowadays in most areas. I'm not gonna say you're gonna find it in every single area, but Tofurky is a huge brand and I'm sure you're gonna be able to find them in most areas near you. And if you're not, well, you can try this little squash guy which is super exciting but if you're a vegan I would love to know what your favorite vegan recipe is for this holiday season also let me know which of these recipes seems the most exciting to you and also if you are wanting to try out one of these recipes for this year or for next year I am gonna leave the recipes down below in the description box so don't forget to go ahead and check those out down there but other than that if you are new to my channel I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe and click the little bell that is down below so you can get notified for all my future content also make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.